90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After, Coupled Jasmine Pineda and Gino Palazzola's season eight timeline piece together, leading up to their split in December 2023 after cheating rumors. Jasmine is a 37-year-old Panamanian woman whom Gino from Michigan met online. Jasmine used to work as a school teacher back home, yet expected Gino to spend on everything from her hair to her apartment. She expected him to do it after she came to America, but Gino had changed. Jasmine did marry Gino, but was disappointed when she learned Gino had messed up her son's immigration process. Jasmine wasn't in a happy marriage. Jasmine has been preparing for her beauty pageant in recent scenes on 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After. Season 8. It has helped her feel less depressed instead of being stuck at home thinking about her kids' visa situation and her mom's cancer battle. The recent episode 11 documented a fight between Jasmine and Gino over finances, where he's controlling her spending after he quit his job. Gino said he wanted to be at home to support Jasmine until she could get back on her feet in the U.S. The timeline of when these events take place is confusing. Gino had been divorced from his wife of eight years when he started going on paid dates. Gino used to pay these sugar babies so they would give him company. He was not looking for a long-term relationship before he met Jasmine and traditional dating sites were not working for him. One of these exes was Lindsay Ryder, who Gino had sent Jasmine's topless photos to. The couple had told cameras they met online, but specified that it was a sugar daddy website during the 90-day fiancé, before the 90 Days season five tell-all. Sean Robinson had asked Jasmine and Gino how they'd met. Gino was hesitant, but Jasmine had egged him on saying, I don't like lying. Gino finally came clean about having met Jasmine on the controversial dating website. She explained that she had a best friend who suggested putting her ad on the website for her to date internationally. Jasmine claimed she had no idea her friend had put her ad on a sugar baby platform. She exclaimed, I had no idea what the website was about. Nine months later, Gino was in Panama to meet Jasmine. He was well prepared for the trip. Gino hadn't had much action in the past two years, so this prep involved taking some magic blue pills so he could keep up with his younger partner. Gino had hit the pharmacy to pick up the pills, and that's likely where he picked up the electric toothbrush for Jasmine, which he gave her for Christmas. Jasmine, known for her rich taste and high-maintenance lifestyle, forced Gino into flying her to San Jose Island on a $2,500 vacation. It was during this vacation that Lindsay contacted Jasmine about the topless pics. Gino kept denying that he had sent them, but later admitted that he had done it for revenge. However, Gino had gone to Panama intending to get engaged to Jasmine and get her pregnant. While he couldn't do the latter, he proposed to her in before the 90 days season 5 with a $240 engagement ring. Jasmine told Gino she was not going to lose him over a stupid situation. She forgave him for the Lindsay incident, but only as long as there were no more crazy exes. Gino confirmed he applied for Jasmine's visa in the season five tell-all. Jasmine later told her Instagram followers in April 2022 that her K-1 visa had been pre-approved. She said it had been applied in July 2021 and can happen anytime soon. Jasmine also said, absolutely, once I'm in America, we will start making babies, even though fans have now learned that it was never her intention. Jasmine had to wait 18 months for her visa approval. She was fed up with Chino as he didn't consult an immigration lawyer to save money and did everything on her own. Jasmine was told there was an issue in processing her application when she went for her visa interview at the U.S. Embassy in Panama in the season six final. However, Jasmine was at the tell-all with Gino in the previews, which confirmed she was already in the U.S. Jasmine moved to America in April 2023. 
She was spotted with her husband locally in Michigan and married Gino in June 2023. They tied the knot in an intimate ceremony attended by 12 people at Singerman's Corman Farms in Dexter with an 1800s white farmhouse as their backdrop. In episode eight, Jasmine and Gino were at the gym and she confronted him because he'd not paid her participation fees for her beauty pageant. After Jasmine accused Gino of crushing her dreams, he made her go home and Jasmine had to miss 45 minutes of her workout. Jasmine had to completely depend on Gino. She couldn't even go anywhere without him because Gino was the one who drove her. The starving Gino took Jasmine to get smoothies at Bamboo. Jasmine argued with Gino about how he was controlling her and not allowing her to participate in the beauty pageant. Reddit user Christian Playsver had watched Jasmine and Gino filming the same scene in September 2023 in Michigan. The photo they attached as proof showed Gino sitting outside the smoothie bar while Jasmine stood next to him and was seemingly yelling as a crew member recorded the fight on camera. Customers inside the store could be seen staring at the commotion Jasmine was creating outside. Reddit users such as Galaxy underscore Orchid underscore had recognized the place as Bambi in Canton, am I from looking at the smoothie cup on Gino's table, months before the episode aired. Jasmine's displeasure with Gino was evident in the episode. She was upset with Gino for making her rely on him for every aspect of her life. Meanwhile, Gino expected Jasmine to appreciate him supporting her financially for three years in Panama and America after she came there. Gino said Jasmine was nuts. Jasmine told the cameras a lot of things had changed since she married Gino, who had now become a dictator. Moreover, a preview shows Jasmine sitting down with Gino's family members and admitting they aren't in a happy marriage. It's likely that Gino's not being able to satisfy her in bed led to Jasmine allegedly cheating on her with a man named Matt Branis. According to it 90 Day Fans Update, Jasmine allegedly met the man at Planet Fitness in Belleville, Michigan in November 2023. He is a struggling actor from Romania and Jasmine reportedly has been living together with him since Gino allegedly kicked her out in December 2023. The 90-day fiancé, happily ever after. Couple sparked split rumors in January 2024 when Jasmine removed Gino's photos from her social media and stopped wearing her ring. 